magnificent malodorous methane. Once I harvest the flatulence from you blank-eyed bovines, I shall have all the gas I need. Not so fast, Bartor. Nobody steals cow toots in our town. Well, except you. But not today. Grossologists, you're just in time to witness my most fantastic scheme ever. <laughs> Feast your noses on this. Behold, the rebirth of my ultimate creation, Barzilla! Okay, Ty, let her rip. <laughs> Now, I shall boldly go where no fart has gone before. But worry not. I'll be back with the souvenir. The greatest, gassiest ball of steak in the galaxy! but a fart-powered robot blasting into space takes the cake. <clears throat> I spoke too soon. So, what do you think? Do I look like a Quasar alien lord or what? You know, Star Voyage. Episode 109? The Battle for Clark Talk? Hmm? Star Voyage? The greatest sci-fi show of all time? Hmm. hmm. Okay. Maybe you don't appreciate the genius of Star Voyage, but this costume is gonna blow him away at the sci-fi convention. You're going to a sci-fi convention? Lab Rat, you don't even like going outside. I know. I'm appearing by webcam. It's part of the annual reenactment. The reenactment of what? An intergalactic fashion disaster? No. The famous sneak attack scene from Battle for Clartock, in which the heroic Captain J.P. Blurk leads his weary crew to victory over the corrupt forces of General Galax. He traveled all the way around planet Numulus and attacked from behind. It was pure inspiration. More like a pure geek fest. <laughs> Grossologists! What happened to Fartor? Why have I not been updated? Bad news, sir. Uh, Fartor blasted off into, uh, space. <gasps> blasted off? Into space? Do you know what this means? Fartor's left the planet! We're free! <laughs> oh, uh, Fartor's gone, and I lost two pounds on my new all-bean diet. <laughs> I'm on top of the world! <laughs> Sir, Fartor said he was coming back. Oh. With a souvenir. He said something about a giant ball of stink? Oh. What was that? What? I... I, I didn't hear anything. Guys, I think you want to see this. Fartor's heading directly towards Flatulent 4, a small gassy moon orbiting Uranus. Orbiting my what? <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, I'm not sure what stinks more, Ty's lame jokes or that smell. Uh, it must be Fartor. Yes, uh, that's it. His stench is everywhere. Yeah, right. It gets worse. Flatulent 4 is composed of methane, hydrogen, and carbon dioxide, the same gases that make up flatulence. A giant ball of stink! What if he meant... Flatulent 4? He'd have to push an entire moon out of its orbit. No one has that kind of power. Not even a giant fart-powered robot? Right. Guys, if that frozen gas ball enters our atmosphere, it'll melt like ice cream in July changing Earth's air into pure stink. And we'll all become messed up methane breathers, just like Bartor. <laughs> Shame on you, vile creature. If you'll excuse me, my bean salad is getting cold. 
Find Farthorn and put a cork in his stinky scheme. Ooh. <laughs> Easy for him to say. Yeah, Fartor's halfway to Saturn. We'll never stop him now. Don't be so sure about that. I give you the GRS rocket. Whoa. An interplanetary vessel with a booster system modeled after the ones the Quinulans used in Star Voyage. And look, I built an exact replica of the gag lab inside. Now I can leave the Earth without ever leaving home. Launch sequence initiated. Ten. Is it just me or are we forgetting Five. something? Nope. All is taken care of. This mission will go off like Seven. clockwork. Here we go. Six. Rosologists, there you are. It's another emergency. The toilet in the lab is clogged. <gasps> oh no, we forgot to tell the director. Tell me what. One. We just hit zero G's. We did it. We cleared the Earth's atmosphere. Wahoo! This is awesome. Woohoo! Rosology! Director? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Get me down from here! Sorry, sir. I'll turn on the simulated gravity. <laughs> oh, oh, wait. Oops. Sorry. Again. <laughs> I'll deal with you later. Right now, I need a working bathroom. <laughs> Director, wait! <laughs> I, uh, didn't quite get around to adding a bathroom. What? And just where is this bathroomless ship heading? Let's just say you'll have to hold it for a while. No! <laughs> Flatulent four. Glorious fall of frozen farts. How I have longed for thee. And soon, soon I shall make you one with the Earth. It'll be a stinker's paradise. That's one small stink for me. One giant reek for mankind. We're coming up on Flatulent 4. Once we arrive, your mission is simple. Locate this small crevice leading directly into the moon's methane core. That's where you'll drop the sonic squeaker, a super powerful explosive device. As soon as the squeaker reaches the methane core, it'll detonate and blast Flatulent 4 to bits. Cool. Uh, Director, is there something you need to let out? No. Why do you ask? <laughs> <laughs> It's a gas attack! Man the goop cannons! Hmm. Ah! Curses! I've almost out of gas! But I know just where to fill up! Yes! We did it! Fartor's on the run! Then let's get down to Flatulent 4. I'll just kick in the autopilot for the landing and... <laughs> <laughs> the autopilot! Don't judge me. It's my first time in space. <laughs> Looks like I'll have to bring this baby in manually. It's a dangerous, highly technical maneuver. But don't worry, I've seen it done lots of times on Starboy. Uh, uh, Lab Rat, I think you broke your spaceship. Wow. That was just like when Dr. Raidus landed the Quebex 5 on Neptunium. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> now remember, mind your suit heaters. It's cold out there. Please. Careful's my middle name. Like I said, careful. They're super heavy. You'll need the extra weight to keep you on the ground if Flatulent 4 is low gravity. And one more thing. 
May the power of Hokulan guide you to victory. Uh, thanks. Star Voyage? Episode 39? Come on, people, work with me here. Here goes nothing. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> hey, it's like a giant trampoline. <laughs> Whoa. Uh. <laughs> the gas crevice must be that way. Let's go. Gotta fix the mock thruster so we can get this rocket moving. Space travel's cool, but I wouldn't want to be stuck out here. You don't say. All alone on an uninhabited moon. No living beings around for millions of miles, and worst of all, no internet. <laughs> oh. Hmm. All alone out there, you say? <laughs> that must be the spot. What are you waiting for? Let's bounce. Easy for you. You're not the one carrying the sonic squeaker. I'm stuck! Yeah. Well, at least you found the spot where we need to drop the... Hey! Where's the sonic squeaker? It must have been activated when we fell. Get me out of here! Ah! Okay, stay calm. The worst thing we can do now is panic. Ah! Log up my gas supply, will you? I think it's time to give Vodzilla a little snack. Uh-oh! Hey! Snag on this, Fartzilla! <laughs> <laughs> so much for the appetizer! Now for the main course! <laughs> Quick time! Grab my legs! <laughs> Well played. But soon you will bear witness to the full putrid potency of Fodzilla! Not a chance. Scoop him. Ah! Oh. Ow! I guess goop shooters work a little differently in low gravity. Ah! Feast, my beast. Feast on the fumes of a trillion trouser trumpets! Power! Something tells me this isn't his good side. Adieu, oxygen breathers! And now to give the galaxy a backside blast and shan't forget! We're too late! Flatulent 4 is moving out of orbit! And it's headed straight for Earth! Look! There's the ship! We're too high! We're gonna float right by into outer space! Finally! Sweet release! Oh, my aching bowels! Oh. <laughs> It's okay, sir. You're safe now. What were you doing out there anyway? Oh, oh you, you know me, uh, uh, Mr. Adventure. <laughs> Fine! I went out there to pass gas. Are you happy now? <laughs> <sighs> My all bean diet has been a complete success, except I've never been gassier. I thought if I could just get outside, I could finally, you know, vent. Well, at least you were able to blow a good one out there. No, in all the commotion, I... I forgot. That's okay, sir. Just let it out now. We're all professionals here. Oh, no. 
This shame is mine alone to bear. <laughs> Forget about my gastric distress and stop this giant frozen stink bomb! <laughs> How are we supposed to do that? Fartor trashed the sonic squeaker. And Fartzilla's pushing us onto a collision course with Earth. <sighs> we failed. Now the whole world is gonna smell like a skunk convention. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Would Captain J.P. Blurk give up this easily? Lab Rat, this is not Star Voyager. Star Voyage? Whatever. What I'm trying to say is, you can learn a lot from Star Voyage. Like how no matter what the odds, you never give up. Not when the world needs you. That's great. Except you're not Captain J.P. Blurk, and we're not some weird aliens with big ears. No, we're not. We're better. We're grossologists. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, we are gonna stop Fartor, and I know just how to do it. Uh, the blue planet. And with those vexing grossologists parted away like yesterday's cabbage, it will soon be a gas planet. Now that's what I'm talking about. I hope you're Like I said, this plan is pure inspiration. See? The old rear guard attack. Star Voyage, don't fail me now! You're going down, Fartor! You again? I'll chew you up and fart you out! <laughs> hey, Fartzilla! Chew on someone your own size! Grossologists? Great job, guys. All the way around Flatulent Floor for the sneak attack. Just like in Star Voyage. Now get in there and disconnect his fart supply. On my way! Galactic gas bag. You fool. Have you learned nothing? In this low gravity, you'll blast yourself into the vacuum of space. Not this time, Fartor. What the dickens? <laughs> it's all over, Fartor. All over indeed. <laughs> For Earth, nothing can change our course now. <laughs> Earth is doomed. <gasps> Guys, get the director suited up. I've got a plan. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, we need you to use your pent up gas to change our trajectory. Are you mad? I'm not an eight year old boy. I, I can't toot on demand. Sir, it's the only way. Ty's right. You've got so much gas built up, it just might work. Besides, it's not good to hold in your gas. It's natural. We fart for a reason. In this case, to save the world. Oh, uh, if you put it that way, fine. But no laughing! <laughs> Sir, you've got to do... So wonderful. Uh, that's great, except now we're heading straight for the moon. Abandon Space Rock! Go, go, go! <sighs> Move it or lose it, Fartor! No, leave me be. But we're gonna crash! I don't want to go on. Not in a fartless world. <sighs> Ty, we gotta go! Hurry! Oh, man. Sure hope those thrusters work. Hey. 
May the power of the Hoku Lan guide you to victory. I came through using my powerful backside to save the day. <laughs> Observe. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's wrong? But you said everybody did it. You said it was natural. Natural. No. My shameful gases. Oh, what have I done? No, oh, don't take a picture of that. Get the way you both are. <sighs> I knew his love of bodily functions wouldn't last. Good thing, too. Fartor's got nothing on this stink. And I feel bad for Fartor. I'm sure he was evil, but he didn't deserve to blow up in a giant ball of gas. Trust me, Ty. Fartor's gone to a better place. <gasps> huh? <sighs> oh, the air! A perfect blend of methane, hydrogen, and carbon dioxide. And it smells wonderful! <laughs> I've done it! I've created my very own gas planet! I shall live forever here! On the far side of the moon! <laughs>